it all begins with a single corrupted cell. It's no longer able to repair its genetic code, it can't kill itself anymore, and it's beginning to multiply rapidly. At this point, things are not great, not terrible. This cell is not yet dangerous, but if nothing happens, it soon will be. Over a few weeks, the corrupted cell keeps making copies of itself. One cell turns into dozens, hundreds, thousands. Because the original was broken, its copies are breaking and mutating even more. They turn into different genetic lineages, clans that are working together and competing. Some mutate in a way that makes them weaker, others' mutations don't change anything, while a few become fitter and better at survival. Together, they now form a tiny, tiny tumor. Not cancer yet, but getting there. The growing tumor needs a lot of resources. If the cells don't get food and oxygen, they'll die and the problem just solves itself. Unfortunately, a few corrupted cells unlock a new mutation that saves them. The ability to order the growth of new blood vessels. And so, your body provides the supply they need to survive. But as the tumor continues to grow, it starts causing damage. Neighboring healthy cells begin to starve and die, which attracts attention. In your body, attracted by the stench of dead cells, your immune system is activated. First responder immune cells invade the tumor. Macrophages and natural killer cells, police forces that go right to work killing and eating tumor cells. They release chemical signals that let the whole immune system know that there is cancer to be eradicated. Dendritic cells, the intelligence officers of your immune system, collect samples of dead tumor cells and begin activating your heavy weapons, helper and killer T cells. What you really need to know is that they have a library listing every bad thing that could come into your body. While each cancer is unique, there are genetic corruptions that they can't hide. And your T cells know what to look for. They are the deadliest cancer killers you have. By the time they arrive, the tumor has grown to hundreds of thousands of cells, but this is about to change. T cells block the growth of new blood vessels, which starves thousands of tumor cells and puts an end to their growth. With no way to hide from the carnage unfolding, the tumor collapses, as hundreds of thousands of tumor cells are massacred. Their carcasses are cleaned up and consumed by macrophages that then order healthy tissue to regenerate. Your body has crushed the illegal tumor town without mercy. You'll never know about this fight, or how many times this has happened inside your body. 